Hi, this is Beth from West Coast Wool, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to cut out wool circles using an arch punch. So stay tuned. To get started, I'm going to show you the tools that you're going to need to punch holes in your felted wool. You're going to need your arch punches. They come in different sizes. I have a set of five here ranging from a, a one inch punch to a quarter inch punch. Uh, they're made of steel. They're very sharp. You should store them in the box that they came in or a case to keep them from getting damaged. The next thing you're going to need is an acrylic mat that you're going to uh, strike your wool on. And it's very important that you have the proper mat for this. You don't want to do it on a cement surface. You'll ruin your punches. So we've got our mat. And the next important thing you're going to need is a mallet. And I want to show you three different mallets and the one that you need to use. Um, this one I just got at Ace Hardware Store. It's a fiberglass mallet. Um, you can use a acrylic mallet. It, um, this one belongs to my husband. It's kind of heavy, uh, but you could definitely use this. The thing I don't recommend is a rubber mallet. So you need to avoid the rubber mallet because what it does is when you strike the punch, it just bounces right off and you're not going to get a clean cut. So we're going to use this mallet and we're going to punch some circles out. And I'm just going to show you my technique for doing it. And hopefully we will get some circles. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put your wool on your mat and you're going to take your punch. And the idea is to strike your punch dead center so that you're able to cut an entire circle out. If you don't strike it center, you might have um, a couple of fibers that might be stuck on there, which is not a big deal. You can always trim them off later, but the idea is to strike it in the center. So this is kind of how I do it. Okay, so I'm gonna strike it three times. It's sort of my rhythm that I get into when I'm striking these. Four times. So one thing you got to keep in mind also is that you want to come back on the mallet and strike it. Tapping it like this doesn't give enough force because you do need to use a little bit of force. So I try to try to pull the mallet with my wrist and go back like that. But if you notice my punch moved a little bit, I might not have gotten a center strike, but that's okay because once you're done, these should come out. And if they don't, you can just take your scissors and just clip the threads off. So this is how I use the punches. And once you start punching, you'll get into a rhythm where you can do many at one time. And that's how you use your arch punches. If you have any questions, comment below. Like, share, subscribe, and keep it woolly.